Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man, issue number eight. Love how confusing this cover is, man. <laughs> Digging on that. Anyhow, so yeah, man, um, this comic book, I'm going to compare this to the Wonder Twins in a little bit. If you're reading that book, you'll know exactly where I'm going with it. If you're not reading that book, you're going to be like, well, you mean this is silly? Just uh, patience, wait for that. This is Feast or Famine Part 2. Tom Taylor is the writer. Ken Lashley is on pencils, inks, and the breakdowns for page 15. Um, and the finishes for page 15 is Scott Hanna. Nolan Woodard is on color art. VCs Travis Lanham on letters. Andrew C. Robinson does the cover art. I just complimented the uh, cover, but still, it's like, how come Lashley, if he did the interior work, how come he didn't also do the cover, man? Like, he gave us the first impression that we ever saw of Shuri. And, like, five issues later, the interior art of that had to actually match the outside. Excuse me, Shuri as a Black Panther. Anyway, whatever, man. St uh, Stan Lee created Spider-Man with uh, Steve Didko. So, um, Detective Stebbins is checking out the scene of the, um, the, 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 what the heck is that place called? The Shelter. And uh, Aunt May's only in it for a second. Nobody talks about her cancer or anything like that. We can't just have every issue about her cancer for crying out loud. She doesn't want to talk about it. Why should we? So, uh, like, later on, we'll, we'll get more on that. But for now, um, she's like, listen, we can't shut down the shelter. It's like, well, I'm sorry, you have to until we can do the investigation. Well, Spider-Man has some uh, opinions on that. He says, I can give you the information that you need tomorrow to clear Boomerang. And I'll see what we can do about the other person who was actually involved in this. She gives him until the morning. Uh, he asks for like 24 hours or whatever. He doesn't get that. He gets this instead. So that's at least one night that these knuckleheads are going to be stuck um, uh, keeping the place shut down so that the homeless people can't sleep there. So more homeless people on the streets. And severe weather. If you make sure you read the preview, um, you know, the, the, the talking points before the comic book. Uh, the introduction, I should say. Uh, there's some wild weather coming soon, so it's important to get this this place actually, this shelter actually built. The feast. So anyway, um, yeah, Prowler is back in action. His wife or girlfriend is not particularly happy with it. Uh, Hobie Brown, you know what I'm saying? The spider punk in another universe. And he's like, dude, why did you pick up the Prowler again? He's like, I decided to rob some money from the kingpin. <laughs> Spider-Man's like, I can't be overly mad at you for that. So anyway, it turns out that there's this organization, Fairview, I think it was called. And they're the ones that have actually um, started this mess. They're, they're the ones who are, who are cheating everybody. Um, criminal organizations actually running the, um, uh, the crowdfunding. Fair Grey, it's called. Sorry, had to see that. And there's a, there's a new character in here, a new villain, and he's freaky looking as hell, and he has some interesting superpowers. Um, it looks like he can suck the ghost out of somebody. What the hell is that? <laughs> it's actually an idea that I had, but, you know, not quite so malicious. Anyway, um, Marley is in this also, and I enjoy that. I, 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 I like seeing her in this book also. That's one of the things I look forward to the book. Rumor uh, is her, her, her superhero name. I like her. And she's fun, man. They're like, hey, don't you have email? No, I don't use the, the uh, internet. It's full of opinions. <laughs> yeah, it's true. <laughs> she's like, do you at least have a phone? Yes, of course I have a phone. Did you bring it with you? No, it doesn't work unless it's plugged into my wall. Oh, God, I, I really like Marley right now. I really like Marley. More of this, please. I'm looking forward to a rumor solo series, man, whatever. Like, no, seriously, I I love Marley being in this book as a good backup character. It, it makes for a stronger book, in my opinion. She's a great, like, it's a chance for Spider-Man to actually think that somebody else is a little bit too weird for him. I enjoy those kinds of issues. Anyway, so yeah, there's a crowdfunding organization, and it's apparently not on the up and up. It's got some really bad funders and investors. Excuse me, we don't find who they are right now. Maybe we won't, but we're going to find out a whole bunch more as this continues. And I have got to just simply call out how awesome the cover looks. You see the, the, the end of uh, July, right? Yeah, 
last day of the month for July. That's when this issue is going to come out, issue number nine. And just look at that cover. Look at how the the shield, uh, the star, looks like it's his uh, spider sense. Dude, this is a beautiful cover. I can't wait to get this cover in my hand just so I can start talking about how cool the cover looks. <laughs> anyway, guys, this was a fun book and it should be expected. Oh, I mentioned something about the Wonder Twins. Wonder Twins is the most real book that the, or at least deals with the most real issues, the, the fakest freaking characters in the world, but I love uh, Jane and Zan. Uh, I love the Wonder Twins and Gleek. I love them, period. But they're not the, you know, the most realistic type of characters there are, right? However, the stories are the hands down most realistic that, that are told in freaking DC Comics, right? And this right here, I feel this is the most realistic story that's being told in the Marvel comic book. So, Friendly Neighborhood Spider-Man and Wonder Twins, they seem to have that relationship with each other. It's not quite as silly on this book, but it's enjoyable as hell. Both of them are. Anyway, guys, that's it. I'm done. That's everything I had to say. Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.